Hello and welcome to this episode of Coach's Commentary. I'm going to be talking about uh, the upcoming Asia Cup. Obviously, what has happened is that uh, Pakistan, one of the favorites to win the Asia Cup, have had a series against Afghanistan recently. They've done something which is spectacular. That's what makes up Pakistan, isn't it? What is it that strikes you about Pakistan? Couple of things. One is that eternal talent, two is that equally eternal unpredictability as far as uh, what they do on the field is concerned. On days they could make uh, an escape from Alcatraz look the most easiest of task and on other days they can make a walk in the park look like the laborious chore that one can ever indulge in. And that's what makes it very fascinating to watch uh, Pakistan as far as cricket is concerned. Now looking at the squad that they have, they got a tremendous combination of uh, specialists as well as all-rounders and that's the reason they uh, pull off victories like they did against Afghanistan. Now if you look at their batting lineup, they got of course Babar Azam, Fakhar Zawan, Shafiq, Tayyab Tayyar and uh, Imam Ullak. And they are all capable of winning matches on their own and these are just pure batters. And as far as uh, their all-rounders list are concerned, they got a good combination there. The spinners can uh, bat a bit and of course they got a couple of batters who are good all-rounders too. Iftikar Ahmed and uh, Aga Salman uh, belong to that category and uh, their USP or their best department perhaps which is feared or which is highly rated by everybody is their fast bowling department of course led by that left arm Seema and I'm talking about Seema, I'm talking about Shahin Afridi being really quick who has the ability to make the ball swing and seam and that's why he's such a potent uh, opponent and uh, he's been absolutely brilliant he's been consistent and he picks up wickets just for fun and then he's got Naseem Shah to partner him and of course Aris Raf and the fourth seamer will be uh, Usama Mir and uh, this is a real good combination which makes Pakistan really a fantastic and a formidable opponent now they've done well in the past in uh, the Asia Cup. Of late we saw that Babar Azam was not definitely his own fluent uh, self but he just uh, scored a useful half century in that successful uh, chase when they went past uh, 300 to overall the target. Of course uh, players like Babar Azam they know when to turn it on and uh, if they've had a few failures leading up to a major tournament and a prestigious tournament such as the Asia Cup everybody has to watch out because uh, they can really come hard and they are very aware of what it is that they need to do and uh, the failures always hurt such uh, great players and they'll be very keen to make up for the uh, failures leading up to a big tournament and uh, when uh, players of the caliber of Baba Raza are on a mission to uh, prove a point or two that's when uh, the uh, opposition has got to be really be worried about what he could do or what he'll end up doing of course, uh, Tayyab Tahir uh, is uh, also a capable batter. He's been uh, in touch with the game. He was a part of the emerging uh, uh, cup side as well when uh, it was uh, played in Sri Lanka a few weeks ago. Quite a few of them, in fact, were a part of the uh, emerging side. And uh, that is perhaps uh, something that the PCB selectors did to ensure that these cricketers were in touch with the game and uh, they retain their competitive edge. Of course, Mohamed Aris is another uh, all-rounder of sorts because uh, he can really get runs quickly for them and he's a useful keeper too. And this is why Pakistan can really fancy their chances. Each one of them, except for the top four or five batters, each one of them can uh, uh, do the trick with uh, both the ball and the bat. And uh, hence, Pakistan will be a side uh, one has to watch out for not only in the Asia Cup but also in the World Cup after that because uh, they'll be playing under conditions which are very similar to what they get at home. Of course playing matches in India will have its own pressure but uh, as far as the conditions and the nature of tracks are concerned it won't be too alien for Pakistan and uh, therefore they will really be charged up uh, to ensure that um, they justify their talent and they also play to their potential and that's not really good news for the others because uh, if Pakistan go on to improve upon their consistency 
then it can be a very dangerous site. However, that has been the problem over decades, except for a golden period of sorts under uh, Imran Khan when they were really consistent and they made it a point to win a test series abroad and they did it in style too. But uh, since his departure from cricket, what has happened is that uh, there's always been some sort of issues going around and there's not been uh, a kind of uh, any uh, tranquility about the Pakistan side. A lot of comings and goings as far as captains and as far as administrators are concerned. But the one common thing that has uh, stayed consistent with Pakistan cricket is the kind of talent that they seem to have regardless of what keeps happening uh, within their system and outside the system. And uh, that's the reason they are always a side that everybody likes to follow. And uh, that's also the reason why they are the much uh, spoken about side because of their unpredictability and the phenomenal talent that they seem to throw up uh, successfully over decades. Let's wait and see what they do and uh, what kind of consistency they muster in the uh, upcoming weeks. And uh, no matter what they do, it will always be interesting to watch Pakistan play. And uh, quite obviously, uh, the, the biggest contest of the Asia Cup will be between uh, India and Pakistan. Obviously, they will be, at least on one occasion, they'll face off and uh, perhaps they'll also have a chance of uh, playing against each other thrice. That's the maximum chances that uh, would be possible in the Asia Cup. But uh, it doesn't matter whether it's one game or three games. The face, the zip and the excitement and the anticipation will always be at its peak when these two sides play each other. So, this will be no different in... Uh, uh, few days time when uh, India take on Pakistan and uh, millions of population uh, in both the countries and across the world will be keenly uh, following uh, their side and rooting for their side and that's what really makes up whatever excitement that it is that you look for in cricket isn't it fasten your seatbelt there's a lot of excitement coming up in the Asia Cup I'll be talking about the other sides figuring in this tournament uh, in the uh, succeeding uh, episodes which will be done uh, in the next few days and uh, do join me and uh, thanks for your support so far and on that note I would like to uh, wind up this episode as I always sign off I'd like to sign off by saying uh, until I catch up with you next time be good and stay safe